All new tonight at 6, a new report from Zillow shows that the home value gap between Hispanic and white homeowners is closing. In fact, it's the smallest it's ever been. But WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman reports affordability is still an issue, especially for minority populations. For many first generation children, it's their dream to buy a home. A few hours ago, I sat down with a Charlotte woman who fulfilled that dream, but not where she had hoped. This old house paving the way for one family's new future. I'm first generation. My parents are from Mexico, and so they came here and they don't have property or a house, right? And so for me to then have that it changes what the future generations of my family will look like. Mary Espinoza grew up in East Charlotte and wanted to buy a house for her whole family. But I wasn't able to find anything that I could buy. Switching the search to only herself, she still had no luck. Charlotte was just still completely out of my my price point. After looking at about 40 houses, she finally closed on this one in April 2022 in Kannapolis. Granted, it's only like half an hour away from my family, but uh, that has also been an adjustment. She's proud of her accomplishment, but it hasn't been easy. In Charlotte, especially home values are up uh, roughly 58, 50, 59% percent when compared to before the pandemic. Orfi Divungi is a Zillow economist. He says affordability is an issue, forcing people like Espinoza out of their hometowns. The income gap has kind of prevented uh, homeowners in certain neighborhoods from really investing uh, in, in more into their communities. The good news is home value gaps between Hispanic and white homeowners are closing. The increased demand for housing that was relatively more affordable has caused uh, home values uh, in relatively more affordable markets to increase. Helping minority homeowners build wealth. I know that this is an investment for the future. But also making it harder for first time home buyers to get in. Especially if the prices keep going up, it becomes harder and harder. Espinoza thinks educational programs on the home buying process and down payment assistance could help others, especially if they're in Spanish. She says with the help of family and friends, her parents recently became homeowners too. Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.